Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Now, A2 had asked me about my thoughts on pixel skies, and I, th I think he meant weather, and I actually have a video that I'm planning to do, but I have to get my ducks in a row for it that may explain some of the weather. But in the meantime, I'm going to address the pixel skies. Now, of course, I've already discussed Project Bluebeam and its implications in the sky holograms, and I think that's going on for sure, no matter what else is going on. I think you got Project Bluebeam, which, by the way, is just an extension of the Montauk Project. And I did a video on both. But let's talk about these pixel skies, but in order to do that, I'm going to use our friend because I want to illustrate a couple of other things here. So we got our friend, my little model friend, and of course this four. Four is our infinite number, of course, in this. So we're going to say you got four, you got an infinite section, again, of reality waves that you can't see, but four is our numbers. Okay, so uh, let's suppose that this whole probability wave right here is full of nothing but probabilities and, or, and these possibility lines and these uh, probable po uh, possible outcome points are full of nothing but spinning ball earths all right spinning ball rotating all that jazz and you've got the less probable outcomes to work, I believe this is less, let me make sure, nope, that's most, my bad, it's backwards to me. So these are um, your least probable out sets of outcomes, and of course it goes up, whoops, is, these are your least probable uh, ball, earth spinning balls, and it's going to go to most probable, alright, and that is one probability wave. Here's another probability wave, and we're going to say that this pro particular probability wave contains all the flat Earth possibilities. All right. Once again, you got your least probables over here, out or outcomes that work, and it works all the way up to your most probables. Now, let's say here you got a fire or gas planet, and your and the consciousness is fire, or gas, or something along those lines, and I don't know how probable that's going to be, but it's possible. So here's your least probable outcomes of that, and it goes all the way to most, just like before. Now, let's suppose you got this is going to be like a hologram. Everything in this one's going to be a hologram, your least possible and your most possible. All right, so you got all these possibilities here in this, in this section. It's infinite. I'm using finite numbers, but just to illustrate my point, I went again. So let's take the hologram because these are these are the pixel things. So let's suppose in your least probables you got um, your universes are made of nines and threes, and these may be more probable. I mean, maybe you got fours and fives, and then you got you maybe you got twos and nines. And then you got ones and zeros. Now, maybe these don't work out so well for other one reason or another, too glitchy, too dup de dup de dup but ones and zeros. And now, of course, the most probable, whatever works out best out of all these probabilities, I mean, the least ones are going to weed themselves out and they're going to be instantly replaced by ones that work better. And as, it, and as infinity goes, the ones that work better are going to perpetuate. The ones that work worse aren't. Now, spinning ball, there are pop probabilities and possibilities that that works. They're out there. Flat Earth, same deal. And again, it, it doesn't need to have a logical creator or any sort of evolution because as long as it's in the probability waves it can just be it is it not can be it is as long as 
And so these probability waves, these infinite probability waves, probably not consciously, are going to be sorting through what works best. And now I'm going to look into the holographic universe theory because I've always thought it was funny and not worth looking into until now because honestly it fits almost fits into this theory and I think it does and I'm going to look for evidence that proves or do or uh, not prove or uh, supports or doesn't support this but I would think that the simplest way to contain the information and the simplest way to perpetuate the consciousness throughout infinity would simply be a system of ones and zeros simple complex but that's your holographic universe and that's that's a lot of the theory and and i'm starting to wonder if a lot of the a lot of these probability waves themselves along these possibility lines don't contain holographic universes here and there like i said some may have some may be coded in nines and threes some may be coded in ones and zeros i would say as at least in this reality ones and zeros seem to be the the code uh, the computer code and so ones and zeros what an easier way to contain the information and and retain consciousness then it almost wouldn't matter what your model was because the whole thing would be a hologram anyway. And still probably, in, and I would say that's what it favors. But that's just my opinion as of now. And so if you were looking at pixel skies, you could easily be looking at a holographic universe. And on top of that, to add more confusion to that fire, you got Project Bluebeam with patented sky hologram technology. And who knows what else you got going on because that's stuff I need to look into yet. And there are things I need to look into and, and that I haven't yet. and Or if I have, it was from a different perspective than I have now. And I'll be... We'll be posting those right along as I as I look it up. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, I hope that helped explain something. And again, I got more videos to come that are going to explain hopefully more things as I do more research into this thing, into this theory that we have. And of course, I'm still going to be on the lookout for the actual effects. Like I said, they'll be infinite. There'll be an infinite number of these things for us to find and. We'll be there to try to find them. So there's that. And so thanks for now, guys. And thanks for all your thumbs up, thumbs down, comments, and subscriptions. Thanks a lot, guys. We're, we're over 140 now, which is awesome. And I honestly, I don't think me or my fiance ever thought we'd have 140 subscribers to begin with. So <laughs> that's absolutely, absolutely wonderful. And uh, we appreciate all your participation, all your comments. Send us down different angles to research and different, different evidence to support or deny certain theories. So that's it, guys. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for staying with us. And uh, you guys have a great rest of your night.